Hello and welcome to everyone. This is Maisie the Crazy Pug coming to you on this Sunday evening on radio station WPUG in beautiful downtown Pugville. I am in Studio A and Daisy is in Studio B. With the Thanksgiving holiday coming up, we thought it would be nice to talk turkey with you. This is one of our favorite holidays because of the delicious aroma that floats through the air as Mommy prepares a feast for the family. This is the only day of the year that we get table scraps. Now you know that is not true, Maisie. Mommy fixes us a plate with all the healthy goodies. You know she has to be very careful not to feed us anything dangerous. There are no scraps involved. Our mommy did a Google search for safe Thanksgiving food for dogs and found a lot of information. She uses trusted websites such as ASPCA.org or PetMD.com so none of us will get sick. I heard her talking about making us our very own pumpkin pie. You know, pumpkin is very good for our digestive system. You only want to use canned pumpkin. We don't want to use raw or the sugary spicy pie filling. That's not good for us. Pumpkin is good for both diarrhea and constipation. It is loaded with fiber and beta carotene, which the body converts to vitamin A. Now, don't give your baby a lot of it. Too much A is not good for dogs. But a couple of teaspoons a day for little pups or a couple of tablespoons for big boys should keep them right on track. You got me licking my lips, Daisy. I was down at Turkey Hollow last week at the Laugh Shop and ran into Thomas A. Turkey. He is a stand-up comedian that I taped at his show. I hope you all enjoy some turkey talk as much as I did. Hello, chicks and barnyard bums. I am Thomas A. Turkey, also known as Tom Turkey. Do you know what teddy bears have in common with turkeys? They both have stuffing. <laughs> what do rich people eat on Thanksgiving? 14 carrots. <laughs> Why was Plymouth Rock so brave? It was a little bolder. <laughs> what do hippies put on their Thanksgiving potatoes? Groovy. <laughs> Do you know how much the Mayflower weighed? It was a Puritan. <laughs> what sound does a turkey's phone make? Wing wing. <laughs> on which holiday do you play a lot of jokes on people? Pranksgiving. <laughs> what did the early settlers take when they got sick? Pilgrims. <laughs> which Thanksgiving food has grandchildren? The grand berry sauce. <laughs> At Thanksgiving dinner, which hand should you use to butter your roll with? Neither. You use a knife, silly. <laughs> Can you guess what's inside a genie's turkey? Three wishbones. <laughs> when a turkey picks his nose, do you know what comes out? A gobble goober. <laughs> Why do you go to grandmother's house on Thanksgiving? Because her house won't come to you. <laughs> What's a baby turkey called? A peeping Tom. <laughs> Thank you all. You have been a great audience. I really got to run. I see that crazy butcher coming for me. Maisie, I'm glad 
glad you were able to find the turkey. <laughs> I sure hope that butcher didn't catch up to him. What's next on our agenda, Maisie? I have a question submitted by one of our listeners from Facebook. Brian Garrison said, I have a question. Our two dogs are obsessed with cats and squirrels. Every time they see a cat or a squirrel, they will want to go outside and chase them. We don't let them go outside if there is a cat in our yard. What are some of the things that you and Daisy are obsessed with? What do you do when you see a cat? You can answer my question at your next radio show. Well, Brian, we get pretty excited when any animals are on our property. Since we live in the country, we get quite the variety taunting us. We can have anything from a tiny little birds to squirrels, raccoons, a possum, cats, bunnies, and even deer with huge antlers. We have our own little door that gives us free open access to our part of the yard. Those animals are so lucky that we have a fence keeping us from getting them. But we sure love barking at them. They all turn their heads to look at us if saying, Huh? As far as obsessions go, we are obsessed with car rides. Anytime Daddy goes out, we want to go with him. And every time we get to go, it's a grand adventure. When he goes to the bank, for instance, the people there love to see us and even give us treats. We have even been allowed to go into church with him when he has to go help the minister or office staff with technology issues. But you don't know too many dogs that are allowed in church. Well, I think that is all the time we have for today. If you have any questions you would like us to answer on the show, or if you would like to be a part of the show, please message us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. If you enjoy our program, please be sure to spread the pug love with everyone you meet. This is Daisy, best friend and sister of Maisie the Crazy Pug, signing off for WPUG Radio. We hope you enjoyed your time with us. Bye!